In this video, I'm going to explain the differences between a theorem, corollary, conjecture, lemma, axiom, and proposition. Let's start at the most basic level, which is the proposition. So a proposition is just a statement that is either true or false. So for example, 7 is a prime number is a statement which is true, so it is a proposition. How about 3 is larger than 4? Well, this is also a statement, but it's false, so it is a proposition. And a proposition can also be something like Washington DC is the capital city of the US, it is a true statement, and therefore is a proposition. So the following are not propositions. The first one is, what time is it? So this is a question and not a statement. The second one is, read this carefully. This is an instruction and not a statement. And the last one is, x plus 1 is equal to 2. Although this is a statement, it is neither true or false, unless we know what is the value of x. And the next one that we have is an axiom. And an axiom is really basic. It's just a statement that we assume to be true. And we don't need to prove it. We just say, oh, here is a statement and just assume that this is true. So for example, a line can extend to infinity is an axiom. A lemma is a small result that has to be proved. And it is used to prove a theorem. So there are three parts to this definition. The first one is that it is a small result. It's not a significant result. Number two is that it must be proved. And number three is that the lemma is used to prove a theorem. A theorem is a significant result that has been proven. And a famous theorem is the Pythagorean theorem. So let's say you have these lemmas, these statements that you proved, and then from these lemmas, you prove something bigger. And that bigger thing is called a theorem. A corollary is a theorem that follows from another theorem. So for example, you have theorem A, right? So from theorem A, you do a bit of math and you discover something significant. And that significant thing is also a theorem, but it's also called a corollary. And the last word that we have for today is a conjecture. So a conjecture is something that somebody guesses to be true, but they have not been able to prove that it is true or false. So that's basically it for today. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do it. It means a lot. And in the next video, we'll go over some different types of proofs, starting with direct proofs.